and welcome to a rainy Silif. It's absolutely lashing down. Um, tide's still well out in the brully today. Go be getting cast up, set up, chuck one out, and we're fishing for rays tonight. Form back rays. Let's see how we get on. As you can see, we're using the dongle rig again. Perfect little rigs these. I do like them like. Get this in the water. Well, that's us in the water. The rain's dying off a bit. There's only a uh, foot anglers fishing, including myself. Just waiting for the water to come to the rocks. Well, the bottom. The one I'm say is um, anyone who's fishing sort of prom. It's not hard to walk to the end of the ramp and put your fish in the water rather than chuck them off the top. I'm not having to go at anyone and stuff like that. What I'm just saying is uh, there's about maybe 10, 11, 12 dead rays and it's not very good. Um, chuck, chuck them off the top, it's like belly flopping for them, eh? just kill them straight away. If you're not going to take them home, at least take them down the ramp. It's only a 100 yard walk and put them in off the ramp. The ramp's just to your right hand side next to the car park. Just stick them in there and watch them swim away rather than chuck them off the top because they are. They're, they're just dying as soon as they're in the water, they're just sinking. It's no good for them. Um, people will be walking up and down in the. In, walking up and down and seeing, seeing all the dead fish laying on the bottom. It's not good for the sport. Just have a little, if you just have a little um, bit of time and just think, you know, I'll just walk down there and just put it back, watch it swim away rather than just chuck it off the top. It's not healthy. So I just think if that's like, say, if that's ten females, then if they haven't had the hadn't had the uh, the eggs yet, then you you, we, you kill more than one fish at the end of the day. Just. Have a think of what you're doing, lads, and uh, just like I say, just walk down or put them in your drop nets and lower them back down into the water. And that what that's some way like that. The impact of them hitting the water is just killing them straight off. If you come on low water time, you'll see them all laid on the bellies and on the backs. It's absolutely shocking. Just takes that one person to walk along, see it all, and get the fishing stopped basically. So I know there's a lot of people who put them back in nets and whatnot, but there's some people who might not know. So yeah, just chuck them back down by the ramp. You can get close to the water and just drop them, put them in the water, just drop them in. This way we're perfect there. So that's us in the water fishing. Um, high tide, I think it was about one o'clock, two o'clock, something like that some sort of daft o'clock so as you can see they've got the t I've got the TT out today just for a bit of a bit of power really I've got the triple X in the bag if I want to use two rods but we'll see how we get on there's been a lot of fish coming out lately so with any luck we'll have a crack and reef fishing session the water's already started turning maybe it's half an hour ago so plenty of time yet for a good session I'll catch us later. Uh, just by waiting for the tide to come over the rocks, uh, I've just prepared some baits up so I don't have to mess around in a, if a fish come on. That one there is already on the hook. Don't go a bit on the bottom. So the six baits. Obviously I'll wrap them up under there. Um, heron and mackerel. So yeah, hopefully they'll find some fish. Six baits, seven baits, seven fish. Let's be having it. Come on. Well, that's the second one in the water. That last one, full of weed. Absolutely jam packed full of weed right up the line. I nearly cut the knot and pulled down. Well, I'm using a uh, 100 pound braid as a leader. I found it was it goes through the eyes a lot better. It's a lot smaller knot than having an 80 pound leader and then 18. So, fair what else feels the same. And there, do that. Let us know in the comments. Um, be good to know. Just 
can't wait for this water to push in a bit more. Hopefully we'll get some more fish for the old channel. It was, I think the last one was the best one was over eleven pounds, so sort of eleven poundish on the old rusty scale. So we'll get uh, well, our aim is to get bigger than that. So let's be having it. Just getting a bit of a slap iron over there. So aye, we'll keep an eye on that. It's probably about five tenths to tighten it back up. It's a bit of a wild night tonight. The uh, rain, a little bit of wind all on our back. We're actually inside the brolly, trying not to blind yet the big light. It's got a wedge in behind the bench down there. Got my bag keeping it in. Rig wallets. Let's have a look what else is in here. Rig wallets. Another chopping board. I have a fairy thing for washing up tablets. Full of seven ounce and six ounce leads. Got a fixed bill down there. Need to keep a knife and chopping board down the back which are now underneath the chair, keeping out the rain. Got a bag down there with the bait in from the other day. But yeah, keep it nice and dry in the old brolly. This here actually, if you see the rips, um, when the wife was pregnant, well, she wasn't a wife at the time, she was pregnant for our second one, and uh, fish and horn beach in a club match for cod bashers. Oh no, horn buffs I think it was, surf casters. Um, the wind changed direction and just took the brolly away and next thing it's blown right the way down from Blackwater if anyone knows the beaches over there all the way from Blackwater down to uh, Dainome just blew it right the way down I, I missed three jeeps <laughs> I left her uh, sitting on the beach lashing down pitch black um, I think she was four or five months pregnant <laughs> <laughs> um, and then walked back up, soaked, probably ripped to bits. She was going mad. I had a collie that night. I think it was, can't mind the size, but it was a nice fish. Just out the money, like always. But that's fishing in it. Good crack. So, it'll be the first to find out if anything happens. Latest people. Well, as you can see, two rods out now. Just chuck the chip wrecks out. So, we'll see how we get on with these. Still about three hours left to high water. Fuck, this is rubbish tonight. I'm a bit away from the rods, like, to be fair. Way over there. Just sitting, chilling on a bench. On a brolly. Jackpot. Just need a fish now. It won't be long, like it won't be long. Well, 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 look at this dongle rig working the treat. Target species achieved. I've just been talking to some rats from Sunland there. So, oh, need to have my funny scratches off. Sorry, to my fingers. Get some pliers under it and we'll get it put back. Just pause for a second. So yeah, cracking, cracking rare, four, five pound. Right, we're going to get it put back. Just shows, dongle rig works. Caught that lovely in the mouth. I was going to keep one tonight, but that there's 43 centimetres. But look at that, it was smiling at us. So, best off putting it back in the water. To swim away. Walking down the steps, which is not far actually, but yeah, target species achieved. Very happy with that. Get a good shot of that there. Hi, good little fight that like, to be honest. So all right, I'll just pause you till we get the water. Later to the touch. A little bit choppy today. There, so 
for a watch what we're doing. Look how easy it is to put this in the water. There we go. Just like that. Swimming away, that's it, done now. Let's go and get another one! Come on! Oh, bring on the fish! And ray number two. Look how the curl up, man. Fantastic. Dongle rig doing its job again. Right at the corner of its mouth. It's another male. What a big female. It just literally went over. Just I put the other one arc out. So, yeah. Great stuff. Uh, thanks to the lad. Who's just um, from Sunland. Who's just helped us lift it over the wall. This was on the triple X. So I'll get look at that. I'll get unhooked and there, uh, I'll get chucked back in the water. Number two. Come on. Well I'm absolutely buzzing with that. Two four Mac rays, both about the same size. One was 42, one was 44 centimetres across the wings. Um about four-ish four pound or something, I'd never weigh them, just guessing. But uh, yeah, Let's see if we can get some more. Um, I've heard that it's really nice to eat, so if I get a, a nicest one, a meal, I will be taking it home to eat. Um, so yeah, and I'll see how I like them, but you can go try everything once, haven't you, I suppose. So yeah, if, uh, if you like the videos, give them a thumbs up and uh, remember to click that subscribe button, it all helps. Really does help, means a lot. Uh, I wouldn't be out here tonight otherwise, if I wasn't for the videos to be fair. But yeah, I'm enjoying it, I hope you are too. Um, I'll bring you back when something else happens. Try to keep them a bit shorter. <laughs> Wish me luck. Getting a bit of movement on the right rod on the triple X. Just a bit. Hopefully, it's a fish sitting on it and just about to have its tea before it finds a. Ah! I've got something in my mouth. What's this? It's Mad Mix Hook. Come on, say hello. You know you want it. Look at this. For a Sunday night on the bank holiday. Just me here now. High water. Time is at the essence. Let's get among these rays. Formback rays. Is the target species. Really good fight on that triple X where the, the TTR is just like it's a broomstick. <laughs> you need a double to bend that one, I think. So, yeah, it's me little there. Uh, sorry if I got blind you. Yeah. Watch the light, this is giving off at you. Just got on the chair. Look at this. Turn my light off. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic, that light. I'm sitting on that bench out the wind. So, I've got the brolly up and then watching the rod tips with the light off what I've got on the back of the brolly. So yeah, the wind's picking up a bit, there's a little bit of chop on the water now. So I'll have a look at the water. Massive shout out to the lads from Sunderland who have just left, give us a bit of blue in at what they've had left. Um, very much appreciate lads, thank you very much. And there's a lad I'm going, he doesn't know it yet, but I'm going to get under him in the summer about going down for a session. And that's you, Shane, the hardness cod father. We go have a session, pal. He's only four hours down the road from me. So I'll be in touch and we'll have a session sometime in the summer for the hounds or whatever. We'll sort something out. We'll definitely sort something out somewhere along the line. Be good crack. That's if you want to, pal. 
let us know in the comments. But that rod there is definitely getting a little that a bit of action, like just finicky little knocks. I'm really, really enjoying the fishing at the minute. Um, in all honesty, I, I haven't fished this often for a very long time. There was once over when I was living back in the County Durham, I was fishing maybe three or four nights a week. Uh, I feel like I'm there again now. Um, yeah, so massive shout out to our lass for putting up with us, for kind of fishing and talking about fishing and talking about YouTube and how do you do this on there, where's my hammer because I'm going to smash that camera up um, and stuff like that, <laughs> you know how it is, I'm more hammer than I am technology, I even have to get to sort the Xbox out for us man, I haven't got a bloody clue, so bank all day Monday tomorrow today, which is now, well, I think it's one o'clock now, ten past one or something, so that's enough of me whittling on. We'll have a look at the next bait's going out. I'm going to try a bit of blue ear mackerel. Right on there. We'll chuck this bit in the water. Cheers for that blue ear and that razor lads and the bit squid. Really appreciate it. But up, get in there. So yeah, got to be fishing maybe an hour of the ebb. Maybe see what the water pulling through like because it's a big tide so it'll be flying through. I've had weed on the line already um, when I first started fishing. So I think that weed's as soon as the tide turns that weed's going to be on it. Uh, for anyone who fishes to uh, leaves rubbish about should be ashamed yourselves. There's a bloody bin. Use it. And there's a ramp down there, put your fish back. Simple. Do you know what I mean? It's looking tidy, tidy, tidy. Aye. There's a bin right in the middle of the pier, right next to the monument and the life ring. But aye. Just me, the rods, and the fawnies. So, right. Latest. Right. Look at this. Oh, what was that? Oh, just, a, just had a bit of air. See, I wipe one of my rods off. Oh, well, man. That's why I never fish with two rods, because I'm a clumsy bugger. Right. Look at this doggy. Is it a doggy? Or is it a huss? Let's have a look. Bullos pup. Right, many people will think that this is a dogfish. Yeah. See the black stripes on it? Right. See the nostrils? Them nostrils there do not go down to the mouth. So that there is a baby pup hus, bolus, bolus pup. So where dogfish have a line down to the mouths, the nostrils are joined to the to the mouth. If that makes sense, hope you can see that. Yeah, just as a just as a thought, soon as the tide turns, if it being a big tide, it's going to pull us straight around to the left, and it has <laughs> absolutely pulled it right round. So that's only been in the water a couple of minutes. So this could be the end of the session. Uh, that there's coming round now and all. Yeah, I'm going to call it a day. I'm not going to hold button. I've got seven ounce. Leads on with 8 inch wires, whoa, it's gone. So, yeah, right, I'm going to get these in, people, and uh, that'll be me. So, like and subscribe, and I'll catch us all later on. Ta ta from me, and ta ta from an empty still of prom.